Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. When I was getting ready to move, I did a makeup declutter and I said that once I moved, I would try and do a makeup collection video and then some time passed and I hadn't done it. The reason I hadn't done one yet is because I was trying to organize my makeup and trying to get everything perfect and figure out an organization system. But then I realized I could wait forever for that to happen and I fortunately got some comments from you guys asking me about doing my makeup collection video and then I saw Reagan from Indie Boo. She recently posted her makeup collection video and that reminded me that I really should get around to doing this. So today I am going to be sharing with you my makeup collection. Yes, my storage is not perfect. If you have any suggestions for how to store things, leave those for me in the comment section down below. I got some Alex drawers and I'm still trying to figure out how I am organizing and storing things in those drawers. And once again, I know that I have a lot of makeup. I am very well aware of this. Um, I was extremely aware of this when I was moving and had to pack it all up. I've been doing this now for nearly three years. This August will be three years that Naturally Beautiful Girl has been a YouTube channel and been in existence. And because I do this, it's not as a job, but it really is a very much a hobby of mine. I have to have makeup to talk about and I like to keep makeup to compare things. And I do try and declutter. I do pass things on to friends, onto family, and I try and do giveaways or give products away um, that I know that I'm not going to get around to using for one reason or another. So I do try and keep things curated, but I also have, a, I know myself and I know I have a tendency to hold on to products because I'll always think, oh, well, what if I need this for a video? Or what if I want to compare it to this other product? It's a lot and I am very well aware it's a lot and I'm very grateful that I have the opportunity to have this makeup and I enjoy it and I appreciate it. Um, but do not feel the need to have this much makeup unless you are doing YouTube or blogging or something like that. There really is no reason to have this much makeup but I want to be able to tell you guys what is the best in non-toxic beauty. I want to tell you what works, what doesn't work. And in order for me to actually do that and do it in a helpful way, I have to have a quite large collection of makeup. So with that being said, I am going to just dive right in to sharing it, sharing my collection with you guys. So um, I hope you enjoy. All right, so I apologize if this is a bit shaky. I am holding the camera myself instead of using a tripod because I feel like it'll be easier for this video, but it may lead to the footage being a bit shaky. So if that is the case, I apologize. So what I'm showing you right now is what I used to film with. So this is what I look at. You can see my ring light here. Um, I'm sitting in front of some windows and then I have my mirror and then this is my desk. What I have sitting out on my desk over here are my lipsticks. This is not all my lipsticks, as you might imagine, but these are some of the ones that I use most frequently. So I got this lipstick holder actually at Primark. It's a shop that's mainly in Ireland, but for some reason we have a couple locations around Boston. It's kind of like a Forever 21, but I like it better. And they had these little lipstick holders, which I thought were perfect. It really has helped me solve my problem of trying to store my lipsticks. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a brief overview. This one I am trying out, this one is from Kaylee Cosmetics. It is in the shade uh, Poison Apple. So far, I love it and actually want to try out some more lip products from the brand. It is a really long wearing formula, which is always a plus in my book. Here are three of my Cloven Hell lipsticks. I have the shade Ballerina Slippers, um, Bloom, and Desert Rose. Love those shades, they're all beautiful. It's also a beautiful formula. This is the Crop Natural Lipstick in Glam Slam. I absolutely adore this one. Um, wear it all the time. Also, this is probably one of my most worn lipsticks. This is Ilia Lipstick in Rosette. I need to get more of these color block lipsticks. I wear this one to death and I could definitely stand to pick up some more colors. This is one of the Well People Optimist lipsticks. This is in the shade Choose Love. It's not my favorite formula, but I really like the color. Same thing with this one from 100% Pure. This is one of their um, antioxidant lipsticks in the shade Fox Glove. Love the color, not a huge fan of the formula. Honestly, um, I would love this color in a different formula, but I haven't really found a comparable shade. I'm trying to use it up. I don't reach for it that much just because I don't like the formula. This one is from Alima Pure. Um, this is one of their new lipsticks in the shade Odessa. I'm not actually sure why I have it out because I don't wear it that often. Um, I always want to like it more, but I don't 
so I just don't reach for it that often. And then as you know, I adore Red Apple Lipstick. These are two of my favorite shades. I have Mabel and Barcelona. Love both of those if you have to choose. Out of all the lipsticks that I own, if I had to recommend a formula, it would be the Red Apple Lipstick formula, also the Ilia formula. Love the Crop Natural formula, but there's only three shades in it, so you're a bit limited with shade, but those are my favorite formulas. Well, also this Kaylee one's really good. I'm still trying it out, but so far it's really good. Just so you guys know, over here I have some brushes. Um, most of my brushes are in the process of being dried at the moment, so these are just kind of hanging out here because they're the ones I'm using. I ordered online a cup mug thing to store my brushes in. It hasn't arrived yet. So I'm waiting on that. I had a different mug that I was using at my old apartment, but um, I no longer have that. So I needed a new system to store it. I also have my atmosphere protection cream out here. I've been putting it on right before putting my makeup on. So it's been living here recently rather than in my bathroom. Okay, so this is a drawer that I would call my everyday makeup drawer. This whole desk is an Ikea desk. Um, and this is a messy drawer. I need to clean this out. It had fewer products in it, but the idea I had behind my everyday makeup drawer was to put products that I was actively using and actively testing out. But then I have been testing out more makeup and just adding more and more things in, but not taking things out. So that's how this drawer became this much of a mess. So I need to clean this out. Over here, I have the Cloven Hello Liquid Gold Setting Spray. I want to use this more, but I honestly forget to use it most days. I have my My Couture blotting paper. I literally cannot live without this stuff. If you have oily skin, you gotta get this. I have my Ilia um, True Skin Radiant Priming Serum here as well. And then um, hiding in the back, some Q-tips. So back in the back here, I have um, some powder foundations, powder blushes. Getting ready to do a Well People brand overview, so you will see a lot of Well People in this drawer. I honestly need to just film it and move stuff out of this drawer because it's taking up a lot of space. I've been trying out this Ilia setting powder. This is the Fade Into You Soft Focus setting powder. I don't really like this. Not good. Um, I have my Lima Pure Snap Matte Foundation. My 14E setting powder is not currently in here because I literally just finished off my 14E setting powder this morning. I have a backup in my backup drawer, which I need to open and move over into here. I also have some sun protection products. I have the Sun Tegrity Impeccable Skin. Um, I got this in the May Petty War box. Also for sun protection, I like this California Pure Naturals Radiant CC Cream. Love this. I don't know if they've come out with more shades yet. Hopefully they have. At first they only had fair. This is one of my favorite facial sunscreens. The ingredients are not perfect, but they're pretty darn good. And this stuff works so well and it's not greasy. It doesn't break apart my makeup, sits under makeup beautifully. Like, I cannot sing the praises of this enough. Back in this back corner over here, I have a whole bunch of palettes. Um, I have my Cloven Hallow palette. Love this, you guys see this all the time. I also have my Honest Beauty palette. This got shuffled in the bottom of my makeup collection at my old apartment, so I wasn't using it enough, so I moved it over here to use more, because I really like it. It just kind of got lost in the shuffle. I have the Well People um, Nudist Eyeshadow Palette um, that I've been testing out. I really like it. I also have the Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Eyeshadow Palette over here. You guys know I love this. I moved the Aether Beauty Crystal Grid Palette over here to try and use it more. But honestly, um, since I started work, I really have not been reaching for it because the colors are so bold. I love the colors, they're just not at all work appropriate. So I probably need to move this back over into my other makeup drawer. I'm actually gonna grab this out side of the side so I can do that. I'm just not reaching for it enough for it to live in this drawer. Over here I have the Well People. Um, this is one of their new palettes. I picked this up at Target. Do not like this. Pass on it. Not pigmented. Um, and over here I have the Well People Bio Bronzer. This is pretty good. Um, just not a huge bronzer person. Over here I've got the Cloven Hello um, Powder Foundation. I have had this for a long time and I've not really tested it out enough. I've said recently that my skin is doing fairly well so I'm trying out lighter coverage foundations so I'm using this and actually wearing it today. Over here we have the Ilia Liquid Light Highlighter. I really like this, just don't like the packaging. Over here I have the Au Natural um, Stick Foundation, love this. I have both shades of the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. 
Honestly, I mixed both of them and that is my perfect shade. I have uh, Formentera and Sable. One's a little yellow, one's a little pink mixed together. They're perfect. Have the Crop Natural um, Moisture Balance Foundation. This is one of my new favorites. Over here, I also have the Pacifica Light Foundation. I love this. I've got the Well People um, Stick Foundation, and I really don't like this. Um, not a lot of coverage and pretty oily, so not great. And I have way over here the Lima Pure um, Eye Primer. Okay. So over here in this mess, these are my kind of ride or die concealers. I have my Hint Beauty Duet Concealer. I've been trying out this Lima Pure Powder Concealer. I think I like this. Still trying to figure that out. Um, I've got my Hand Skincare Cosmetics Concealer. I've got my Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer, um, which actually I need to move this into my other makeup drawer because the shade's just not good. I've gotten really back into using the PYT Beauty Concealer, so I've been enjoying that. I have my, whoops. See, I really need to get this better organized. Um, I've got my Pacifica um, Liquid Cover Concealer. Down here, I also need to move this back into my regular makeup collection. This is a Crop Naturals Concealer, which I don't like. Doesn't have enough coverage. Down here in the very bottom, I have my Fit Glow Concealer. Over here, I don't know why I have mascara over here. I think it hopped over from this bin that's overflowing. This is giving me a good chance to reorganize here. So. I've got my Hand Skin Care Cosmetics um, Pressed Blush, love this. I've got a pressed eyeshadow from Hand and a pr another pressed eyeshadow from Hand and Celebrate and Sunset. This is the Pacifica Stellar Gaze Mascara. Uh, it's okay, needs to move into here. So into here, I have a combination of eye and lip products. Um, lip products that won't fit for various reasons in my lipstick holder, such as um, a whole bunch of lip glosses. I've got mascaras, um, eyeliners, all sorts of interesting things over here. Let's dig around in here. I'm not gonna show you everything. Of course, some Crop Naturals liquid eyeshadows, thick glow lip serum, O Natural mascara, Well People mascara. Oh, let's see. Um, the Eco Brow Brow Gel. What else do we have in here? The Eco Brow Brow Pencil. But yeah, I still have this um, Pacifica um, eyeliner. I really like this. I have the Well People liner as well. I like both of them. The Honest Beauty mascara, you know how I feel about that. Yeah, just like a lot of um, brow products, the Juice Beauty brow gel, the Well People brow gel. Yeah, this is mainly just like my odds and ends drawer here. And then down over here, um, I have a lot of mostly lip and cheek products and then the Cary Grand Lip Whip. I guess I can move that over here. So that's the Cary Grand Lip Whip in um, Cora Gold. I've got the Hand Skin Care Cosmetics Multi Stick in Dusty, what is it? Rose, Rose Dust. I have the RMS Living Luminizer, that's an everyday staple. The Adria Perez Falling Star Vanilla Highlighter, everyday staple. I've also got the RMS Beauty Broody Bronzer. I need to use that more. I have the, one of the Ilia Color Hazes. We know how I love that. I got my Care Weiss Blush in the shade, um, what shade is this? Oh, this is in the shade Embrace. We have the Crop Natural Highlighter, which I'm obsessed with, and the Au Natural Celestial Highlighter, which is a good dupe for the RMS Living Luminizer. Okay, so that's my everyday makeup drawer, and then we're gonna pan over here, and this is my Alex drawers, or my Alex drawer. And this is where I store everything else. In this top drawer up here, I've got eyeshadow palettes, mostly, um, well, actually just eyeshadows. So I've got some samples of Mother Bear's Handmade, some um, Mother Bear's Handmade um, single pans over here. I've got an assortment of like Root, Old Terry Mahira single pans, some Mother Bear's handmade mixed in here. I've got some of these beauty counter liquid high or liquid eyeshadows. I like these. The Adore Perez Pretty Palette, which I really like and need to use more. The two fit glow palettes, the night and day palette. I was wearing the night one in the beginning of this video. The RMS Beauty, this little um, eyeshadow trio, which I really like. I've got two Alima Pure eyeshadows which I've been meaning to do an Alima Pure brand overview. That is still on my to-do list. It's been on my to-do list for like a thousand years, actually for almost a year now, but so I need to go ahead and do that. I have an old Terry Mia Hira eyeshadow, an old Fit Glow 
Um, eyeshadow Trio, which I still hold on to because I just like it. It's so good for traveling. Um, I have the Ilia uh, Prima palette. Not that great, but I, for some reason, can't get rid of it. Two um, Ritual de Fee eye sets. They look pretty, but they do crease on me. These liquid eyeshadows from Beauty Counter and Crop Natural wear better. I have two of the 100% Pure palettes. I have the Naked 2 and the Pretty Naked. Okay, so back over here, I have my um, Beauty Counter um, eyeshadow palette. I have the Found eyeshadow palette. I really like this one. I need to give this one more screen time. I have the Root Wanderlust palette. Back over here, I have the Pacifica Pink Nudes. I didn't end up getting rid of this. I held on to it. Um, I still have the PYT Beauty palette. I am going to get rid of this eventually. I just am waiting to do a video with a full face of makeup from Ulta and this would be really good to use in that video. And then I have an old Terry Miyahira um, eyeshadow quad back here. I, the problem is with these Terry Miyahira products is I think Terry Miyahira's business went out of business. I don't know exactly what happened, but it's no longer like on the internet. But I have all these products from her that I really like, but I can't talk about them because you guys can't get them. So it's, in, it's a weird situation for me. Okay, so moving down to this drawer. So this is where the rest of my lip products live. These are all lip products that I just don't use or reach for as frequently or I'm holding on to because I want them as comparison. I do have some that I really love, such as the Kosa's lipstick. I have this one in the shade Royal, but it's the wrong time of year for it. So I have some lipsticks that are just like fall winter lipsticks that are here. I also have a lot of cheek products. So I have the Cloven Halo Hydra Tints. Um, I have two of those, the Hydra Glow. I don't like the Hydra Glow, but I can't get rid of it for some reason. I have Root White Gold, of course, the Candy Botanicals highlight. I have these two um, highlighters or shimmering duos from Cloven Halo. They're not that good, but I also can't get rid of them. I have the Amethyst Highlighter from Armas Beauty, the new pressed highlighter, which is pretty, but not great for my shade, uh, for my skin tone. I have some found um, cheek palettes, the highlighting one and the contour one. I have this Pacifica palette, which I really like. Some, the Juice Beauty Cream Blush, Ritual Day Fee Cream Blushes and Highlights. This um, Hand Skincare Cosmetics bronzer that I got from Reagan, which it kind of broke, but it still works, so I hold on to it. An old Terry Mia Hero highlight, a Burt's Bees blush that I really should get rid of because they are now selling in China, which I'm trying not to use Burt's Bees now. PYT Beauty blush. Found blush, Terry Miyahira, found blush, another Ritual de Fee. Way back in the back there, I have some 100% pure blush and bronzer, and the Carewise packaging because it was too pretty and I couldn't get rid of it. So that's what's in this drawer. Okay, and then down here, the store is pretty empty because I'm not sure how I'm organizing it. Over here, these are all clean brushes that I like. I'm trying to get better about rotating my brushes in and out and cleaning them more. So I'm trying to keep clean brushes over here and then brushes that I'm actively using on my desk. And then that way when I need to clean them, I can rotate these out and rotate these in. That's the idea. Um, I have a whole bunch of foundations here. These ones I like, they just aren't living in my everyday drawer. The Kosas, the 100% um, Pure Water Foundation, the Found Foundation. This one I need to just finish up. It's like really close to being done and I'm not a huge fan of it now. I used to like it, but now I like um, more dewy foundations with less coverage. And this is the 100% Pure Super Fruits Foundation. I have the Fit Glow Foundation, which is, it's okay. It's never been one of my favorites. I have the Alima Pure um, Liquid Foundation. I don't know how I feel about this. Still can't figure that out. I have the Oat Milk Foundation, which I really like. The Crop Naturals Primer, not my favorite. The Ilya, this is their like a translucent sun protection powder, which is nice. Comes with a brush. The RMS Beauty Unpowder, um, which I like. The Root Foundation, not my favorite. The Alima Pure Cream Concealer, which I really liked until I found all these liquid concealers, which I think just work better. The O Natural um, 
color corrector and then the Clove and Hallow concealer, which not my favorite. So I need to figure out a better organization system, better use for this drawer, because there's so many things up in the top drawer above this that are just crammed in. I think I could make better use of this space. Okay, down here are actually my backups. So this is skincare and makeup. These are all products that I have not opened yet. So these are all just like backups. I have some Suntegrity, these little travel size I love for traveling. There's my 14E setting powder. I have some skincare over here, the Hint VD Duet Concealer. You can see my Great Skincare Super Sensitive Face Foam, the Leilani um, Pample Mousse Cleanser, backup of the Au Naturel Stick Foundation, some Cognac sponges from Bristol and Sussex, also over here, Fit Glow Lip Serum in Nudie. I already have one in Nudie, so that's a backup. Deodorant, eye primer, brow gel, mascara, um, under our bar, a whole bunch of My Couture blotting paper. Um, yeah, so that's what's in here, all backups. Which is really nice to actually have this drawer of just backups because it helps me keep organized of what I've used and what I haven't used. And also this is a good way if I want to do a giveaway I know that all the products in here have not been used, so if I want to give them away, they are all unused, unopened. Okay, and then down here in the very bottom is where I store my um, like travel makeup bags. Love this one from Vera Bradley. Got some makeup remover wipes. I just use these for swatches now. I have a brush cleanser from Coco Lavish that you can use without wetting your brushes, so it's great for in between touching up your brush. And yeah, um, that's it. So I really like the setup, even though this is where I'm mainly putting on my makeup in the morning, by having the Alex drawers so close to where I do my makeup, I actually find that I reach for makeup products more because it's so close. Like if I'm sitting over here and doing my makeup and I'm like, oh, I want a lipstick that's not out here, because it's right over here, I'll actually reach for it. Whereas in my previous setup, my like backup makeup storage was further away from my vanity, so things just didn't get reached for unless they were physically in my vanity. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, overall, it's given me a lot more storage. I really need to figure out better organization for this drawer because it's becoming a catch-all of all my products, as you can see, but these are all products that I am either actively trying or really love and just keep reaching for. So. If you have any ideas about better storage, better organization, let me know. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below. I also know that some YouTubers, um, for instance, JamBeauty89, every once in a while will do like a everyday makeup drawer video where she shares what products are in her everyday makeup drawer. If you would like me to do that on a somewhat frequent basis, let me know in the comment section down below and I can do that for you. Um, like I said, if you have any ideas for storage, let me know that. Also, if you see any products in these drawers that you are curious about or um, saw me use a while ago and haven't seen me use again, let me know that as well. I'm thinking about doing a shop my stash video where I kind of go through my stash and use products I haven't used in a while. So if you see any products that you would like to see me use in that video, let me know in the comment section down below as well. And once again, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more non-toxic, cruelty-free beauty content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Instagram. My handle's at naturallybeautifulgirl. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.